New at 10, Falls County Sheriff Ricky Skamen is being ordered to return county-owned equipment, and the chief deputy is assuming his duties. Six News reporter Cole Johnson was at the commissioner's court meeting where this was unanimously decided, and he breaks down what happened. All in favor say aye. 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 Oppose? All right, motion carried. Following more than an hour of executive session, the Falls County Commissioner's Court passed a resolution connected to Sheriff Ricky Skamen. We are not the first county to have this happen, but there's no, there's not a whole lot of case law that is, can be found on this. Skamen is facing charges including sexual assault and assault on a public servant. This week, the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement suspended his license. That limits his ability on some of his sheriff's duties. Following Friday's meeting, the sheriff duties are now being handled by Chief Deputy W. Derek Johnson, making Skamen a de facto sheriff, according to County Judge Jay Elliott. It means Skamen is still the sheriff, but he does not have the ability to arrest people. Also added in the resolution, Skamen is requested to immediately return county-owned equipment related to, quote, the sheriff's exercise of law enforcement duties meaning a pickup, weapons, things like batons and hand restraints, plus body cams, surveillance equipment, among other things. Skamen's lawyer was in the room for the decision today. It's probably reasonable to request that and certainly don't have a problem with it. I anticipate that the uh, suspension will be lifted shortly. This all comes just a few weeks before Election Day, but according to Judge Elliott, for right now, everything moves forward as is. As it stands today. The election, everything for the election is still the same. He is still innocent until proven guilty. Reporting in Falls County, Cole Johnson, 6 News. Now on Monday, the commissioner's court will be meeting again to discuss personnel matters at the sheriff's office and the county jail.